Yum, yum! Hello, Łukasz Pazera from Pixel Fondue here. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to make an animation of Bolo lifting uh, a ball. And we are going to use ACS3 space switching functionality for that. So as you can see, I have a starting scene here. And this scene, if you have ACS3 uh, beta version, uh, you have the scene in the folder samples, in the samples folder and it's called Bolo Space Switching Start scene. So as you can see, in this scene we have uh, part of the animation done, so already, uh, Bolo is already uh, going down to grabbing the ball, but the ball is is not moving up, um, it's not getting uh, lifted. So this is what we are going to, um, to do in this tutorial. The ball is part of the rig, so if I turn my locator drawing on, you will see that I actually have a controller for, for moving and rotating this, this ball around. So the ball is rigged um, using the rigid joint module. If I go to item list and see a list of modules, I have a ball module. And this one is, like I said, it's a rigid joint. And then the, the ball mesh is attached uh, to this rigid uh, joint as uh, as a rigid mesh, as you can see here uh, on the list. So before we can actually um, change the parenting or attach the, the ball to the rig, we need to enable uh, space switching on the ball module or on the rigid joint module. Uh, so I'm, I'm selecting the module here and actually in clicking the enable space switching button. So that's the first step. When, when that is done, when that is done, I can go back to my animate context, and from now on, I'm just gonna do all the work in the uh, in the animation. Okay, so let's go to the frame ten because this is the frame at which Bolo is grabbing the ball, and now I'm going to select the the, the ball either for the region or by clicking the controller. It's the same thing, and I will enable space switching hitting this button by hitting this button here. So that initializes the whole setup. And now you can see I have this purple line, which indicates my current parent. So by default, the, the ball is parented to the just to the character rig. So if I move the entire rig, it's just gonna move with it. And I'm ready to, um, to be changing the parent. The way I want to do it is to have my right arm as a sort of leading arm so i just i just want to control the ball uh by by animating the right arm and i want the ball to be attached to this right arm and to do this properly i'm not going to attach it to this uh ik controller because if i switch to the fk mode then the ball will stop uh, following the arm properly instead i'm going to hide my controllers for a second enable and enable sockets here and we'll enable the uh, overlay drawing to see the sockets so the sockets are like attachment points or joints and we have a hand point here and so this is the one i want to attach the ball uh, to and i'm just going to do this through the drag and drop so just make sure you are on the frame 10 and if I drop the tool, you will see that here's this uh, purple circle. So I'm just gonna click that and drag towards the hand point and just drop it off on the hand. I need to be quite precise. And now if I open the panel with my space switching tools, you see that now my parent is right, arms, uh, right uh, arm hand socket. So that's, that's what I need. So let me just close this one. I don't need the sockets to be visible anymore. Overlay drawing off. And now as I scrub the timeline, you will see that now the ball is getting lifted. So we're getting close, but it's not all done yet. Uh, if I switch the, uh, show the controllers again, you will see that actually my IK controllers do not move, right? So uh, they just stay on the ground. I mean, the animation looks quite okay, um, but it's it's really not properly animated here, so I want to fix that. And one way to do it would be just to simply switch to the uh, FK control for the arms, so they just mm, move with the body, or I can use space switching for the arm controllers as well, and just attach them to, to this root uh, controller, so they will move up uh, with, as, as Bolo moves up, they will, the controllers for arms will move up as well. So let me try it. Uh, again, my attach point will be at the frame 10, uh, and I will grab the my right arm, 
or right hand icon controller, then I will select uh, uh, these. Uh, actually, I need to enable the space switching first. So this is the first step, enable the space switching. Now I get my link getting drawn, indicating my default parent. Uh, and I'm going to change that parent at frame 10 to the root controller. And now let's see how this looks. So if I scrub the timeline, actually let me show the controllers. So now I can see that the right uh, hand controller is moving up with the body. And that leaves me just the left hand controller to do. Um, and this one, I actually, I could parent this one to either the ball or to the right uh, hand. Uh, it doesn't really matter in this case. Let's say I'm just going to use the, I'm going to parent it to the ball. Uh, so again, select the left uh, hand controller, enable the space switching and just do drag and drop action. Uh, I need to drop it on the controller, so just on the wireframe, just need to be quite precise here. And when this is done, now I have both my... So the ball is getting lifted, but also uh, the arm uh, controllers, they follow, um, they, they follow upper body animation as well. And that's it. We made ball lift a ball using space switching uh, toolset in ACS3. Yum, yum!